This is crazy because he's the first Russian who worked at that construction site in Taiwan. What was your salary? How much money you can earn working at the construction site as foreign? I've got the same salary as local people, as Taiwanese people. Mm -hmm. It's 33,000 and per month. I came from Russia, stay here around one year. Maybe one year ago, I was singing in Kaohsiung, Chinese song, Yuelian, Dai Bia Sin. Oh. Suddenly one woman with her husband, she stopped in the front of me. When I finished the, the performance, she just like applauds, says it was, it was really good. And say like in the case of emergency, if you don't have any job, if you have trouble, you can call me mm. because I'm the head of the construction company here in Taiwan. It was before Covid, right? Yeah, it was one year before, long time ago. Mm. And suddenly, like when the epidemic starts, I was like depressed, sitting alone and, and at my home. Pick up my cell phone and call Carl Coker and she asked me to come the next day to the office mm -hmm. to discuss like what can I do, yeah. how can we work together. This company, they basically do framework design of buildings. And she said, my target is set up the form works. This is not the usual job for foreigners in Taiwan, but you chose this one, like the most difficult, the hardest job. I had no choice. She said, I can try one week and mm -hmm. if everything all right, we can keep going to work together because this is really hard job. There is almost no Taiwanese people. Most of the workers, they are from Vietnam. Oh, you are the only one foreigner there? Yeah, sure. And probably this wow, is like, this crazy. is the single, mm -hmm. this is a single episode in the history of whole Taiwan when the foreigner like me. What did your boss say when he saw you? The first question was like, do you know the, the Vietnamese language? Really? Yeah, because you need to communicate, you need to be a team, like you need to give different tools to each other. Mm -hmm. Vietnamese guys usually they cannot speak Chinese, they cannot speak English. So I usually use my cell phone, like I use Google Translate, what I need to do. Then I use speaker and I set up the speaker like that and they say something blah 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 and then they give me that kind of tool. You translated from Russian to Vietnamese? Yeah. Oh my god. Can you tell us what was the most dangerous thing at that construction site? Well, this kind of area probably the most dangerous place I ever been in my life. Really? Yeah. A lot of metal things mm -hmm. like on the floor, a lot of metal tubes. I saw a few really dangerous accidents during that job. One guy, he fall down from the second floor. Something happened with his leg, mm -hmm. then ambulance come and May probably he break his leg because he even cannot move. Wow. Uh, what was the most dangerous for me when we already like have a lunch break, we take off our helmets because it's prohibited to work if you don't wear the helmet. Yeah. Suddenly something fall down from the like maybe third floor and hit my head, so I have a lot of blood here. Whoa. Like, now everything recover. So that's really dangerous place. Oh my to god. Be. You almost died there. Yeah, I had a lot of blood. It was so fast, so I thought maybe something happened with my brain. What did you do if you felt tired? Well, uh, there is only one way to get rest during the job is to be a smoker. The guys who don't smoke, they they cannot to sit and rest for a while. So probably per one day you need to have one box of cigarette. So it seems like 20 times you can sit and smoke so it seems like 20 minutes of rest so if you don't smoke they won't let you rest you'll just keep working you have no official reason to sit because the smoking is like a reason to take a break and do you smoke yeah originally i don't but because i'm really tired and i want to get rest so i must to smoke so i buy a cigarette how long did you work there that's really, really long day. You need to come to the office uh, around 6.40 a.m. Uh, it would be special bus. Like all the workers take on that bus. Then around one hour, 20 minutes from office to the construction area. Mm -hmm. And the same time to return. Mm -hmm. Nobody pay you for that time. So mm -hmm. probably around three hours per day, you just waste for transportation. The working day starts at eight till 12. At 12 you have one hour break. The boss offer you free meal. Mm -hmm. It's like bien done. Oh. Very delicious. Sometimes uh, you have some kind of 
Usche Lanti. It's like a bonus uh, mm. to my cha or something like this. Yeah, for your spirit. Uh -huh. <laughs> totally, when I was working there from 5.30 a.m. when I wake up, the time when I return home, it's around 7.30. So it's more than, yeah, it's more than 12 hours. What did you do after work? After work, you know, you have you have no power to do something. You just lie down on your bed, mm -hmm. like sofa, probably drink one or two beers to relax and then fall asleep. And then next day the same, the same. I imagine you are just exhausted, extremely tired yeah, after this whole working right. day. You cannot do anything. What was your salary? How much money you can earn working in the construction site as foreign? I've got the same salary as local people, as Taiwanese people. Mm -hmm. It's 33,000 NT per month. Then, if you keep going to work, it's plus 1,000, until your salary would be 45,000. I don't know how about Vietnamese people, how much money do they get, mm -hmm. but all the guys who work there, they really hard workers. Everyone has family. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a lot of kids, so they really depends on that job, they work bad, they cannot keep their families in Vietnam. Were there any Taiwanese people there? It was maybe two or three Taiwanese, but they seem like managers there. They control mm. Vietnamese. And mm. Why did you decide to quit this job? The main reason why I quit that job because I started to have a problem with my skin. To work under that extremely sun is super dangerous for the white skin which I have. If the doctor says to me, if I keep going to work like that, I can have the cancer of the skin really quick. Yeah, you may still get some skin cancer. I want to say thank you so much for that opportunity to work in the construction area business in Taiwan. Thanks to my boss, thanks to the destiny. I appreciate the job of everyone, of every of my colleague.